Hi and welcome to AV Cyber Active. Hope everybody is having a lovely day and you all had a great beginning to your new year. But the live world of cybersecurity doesn't stop and it keeps going on. So I'm here to give you a new content which is very less discussed about. This is about file integrity management or in short FIM or FIM. I'm going to touch very briefly theoretically on two main factors of FIM, that is, what is FIM? That's number one. Number two, how or how does it work? But before we begin, if you're already liking the video, go ahead and hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Okay, now let's get started with explaining what is FIM. File integrity management. It's basically, uh, in cybersecurity, is this design, the file integrity management the entire concept or the idea is designed so that you can detect and respond to unauthorized changes in your file systems. Now, you can do it manually, manually as well. How do you do it manually? Well, you create hashes. And if, if you already know what hash is, it's, it's a fixed line output of a file. If the hash changes, which means the file has been altered with. Now, in the world of cybersecurity, everything boils down to three main pillars, namely integrity, confidentiality, and availability. The FIM, File Integrity Management, focuses mainly on the integrity pillar of the CIA. I've made a separate video on this one where I'll, I'll explain how CIA triad works, theoretically, of course. I'll go ahead and link it in the card so you can check that video if you want to know detailed explanation on how, what is CIA. Or, in, or to expand it, integrity, availability, and confidentiality. FIM, File Integrity Management. Why is it important? And as I explained, it tracks the changes in the hashes. So any unauthorized changes in your network could indicate or any unauthorized changes to your core important files of your operating system could mean three things. It could mean there has been a security breach. It could mean that a malware infection has happened, especially polymorphic viruses, which change their behavior. And that's the reason they are called polymorphic. They morph themselves. And the third thing could be it there is an insider threat that could be happening, which means there's somebody inside your environment or discontrolled employee who is making changes to a file system and you want to catch them before they, you know, make any destruction or make any changes which they should not be doing. So as I explained before, what's hash? Uh, file integrity monitoring. Why is that important? I'll explain this into two parts, divide into two parts once again. First of all, it helps you, as I discussed before, in detecting suspicious activities. So if a cyber attacker is already in your network, you know that they will for sure, when they travel across the network, they will try to ch make changes or make alterations on the file systems as they travel. They will make changes to the operating system files. They'll make changes to application files. And these all will be logged in a log file. Sometimes they can totally even avoid logging themselves because they would just go ahead and clear those logins. However, if you have a file integrity monitoring system enabled or some kind of a system that will track the changes of your core operating systems or application files, there's a high chance that you can detect an attack taking place currently, or you can detect them if they are all in the early stages of the attack. So basically, file integrity manage management, it will help you to monitor and protect your security posture of your environment, of your organization. So that's number one, detecting suspicious activity. Secondly, it would help in 
pinpointing unintended changes. Let me explain that. So often what happens is uh, your administrators who are making genuine, you know, uh, doing, going ahead and doing the business as usual in their day, and they would make some changes in the environment. Sometimes they are authorized, sometimes they are not authorized. But if they are not authorized, the consequence would be uh, sometimes it would leave a bad door in your system. Say, for example, a system administration would change a configuration in an application. And because of that, your vulnerability management team, uh, though not uh, at that moment, later on would realize that a security backdoor was left unintended. But you have to wait for the entire vulnerability management cycle to take place. And then by the time you know it already, the security breach or the security backdoor has been left already. How can you detect it? How can you pinpoint that unintended change and not make it happen in the early stages itself? So if you have a file integrity monitoring system in place, it will help you track those unintentional changes so that you can roll back uh, those cha unintentional changes even before they appear. As in, if the administrators, administrator has already made those changes, and if your file integrity monitoring system can uh, send you an alert saying that, hey, something has changed, which you wanted to monitor, check and see if that is authorized or not, if it is not authorized, or if it is not in compliance with what you want to you know, what how it should be, you can always roll it back. So that is another advantage of having a file amount of FIM in place. But how do you know what are the most important files you should be monitoring because you have one computer itself which has I don't know a millions of files and then you have your entire organization which is again of tens and thousands of computers so you have you will basically have either your windows operating system files or your linux file systems for windows you don't want to start with monitoring everything because there would be a lot of changes being done on the system and it'll be very difficult to track. However, what file integrity monitoring system, uh, if it's a good FIM solution, it would by default uh, monitor your critical operating system files, your bootstrap or startup items, uh, host files, and some application level configuration files. Whereas in case of Linux, it will try to protect or uh, monitor bootloader uh, kernel parameter files, the daemons or services that are running in Linux uh, systems, uh, cron jobs, profiles, uh, host files, etc. So that's how you monitor Windows and Linux file systems. Now, as, as I said in the video, uh, I would be explaining theoretically how file integrity monitoring system works or what is an FIM, how does it work in real world? So you deploy a file integrity monitoring software on the computer. The first of all, what it will do, it will try to create a baseline of your system's normal state, which means it will now create checksums or hash values of files that will act like fingerprints of those files. If anything changes, then your FIM system, the first it will do is it will continuously keep monitoring those files and it will compare it against those baseline or the hash values or the checksums that you have created. Any deviation from those, it will be potentially be flagged by your FIM solution. The FIM solution will detect those changes it will send you an alert or a notification to the administrator or to the relevant parties who are supposed to be informed about the changes. And whenever these changes take place, a rapid notification will be sent out to administrators so that they can mitigate any kind of potential risk. Uh, this will also help you uh, pace and up your investigation process as well. Like administrators, the security administrators can now investigate on the nature of the changes that have been taken place. If they are authorized, well and good. If they were unauthorized, based on the severity or the files that have been changed, appropriate measures can be taken. I hope I was able to explain that clear. So in conclusion, file integrity man management or FIM solutions should 
definitely a part of your strategic cybersecurity or it should be something that you should consider as a part of your building a cybersecurity team or a security operations by continuously monitoring your files or the important files on your systems you would be able to catch an attacker an action or even better you would be able to detect an attack that is in progress way ahead in advance i hope you found this video helpful it was very basic and very theoretical let me know if you want to go deep down on the file integrity management um the, even more on the, or the different vendors that are available, I'll definitely try to make that possible. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.